Good morning. Welcome back once again to our Lenten devotion series on the questions of Scripture. Today we go to the Gospel of St. Mark, the first chapter, the 42nd, excuse me, the 24th verse, which reads, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. One of the most common threads in Scripture, and especially in Mark's Gospel, is the enemies of God making proclamations of who he is. They know that this isn't just some other guy, but the very Son of God. Here, in this example, it's a man afflicted with an unclean spirit, afflicted with a demon, making this early revelation in Mark's Gospel. He's not one who's expected to make just such a declaration. He's not one of the disciples. He's not the parents of Jesus. He's not someone who's been with them, following them around. It's a demon. And it's a demon afraid of what is coming. Afraid of its demise, its destruction. For what is holy cannot, excuse me, for what is unholy cannot exist in the presence of the holy. And Mark chooses to place this information at the very front and beginning of his gospel. So that we readers cannot claim ignorance of who this Jesus is. We know exactly who he is from the word go. He is the Christ, the one who, was, who has come to redeem the world, the son of the most high God. There is no lost in translation. This is a proclamation for us as much as it is for the man making it. For this proclamation removes all doubt. What we will continue to read in Mark's gospel is the very ventures of the Messiah. And of this Messiah, where these unclean spirits feared destruction, we we experience restoration. We experience grace upon grace. We experience the newness of life, and we experience mercy. That's what this, the Son of the Most High God, would have to do with us. To make us clean where we were unclean. To restore us. Not to drive us away from him, but to bring us closer to him in his kingdom, which has no end. This is what Jesus does for us in Lent. He brings us closer to him that we may, in fact, know him. That we may experience the freedom that is ours. Freedom from sin, freedom from death, and freedom from the devil. And we now know, we now know that our Christ would in fact have everything to do with us. Amen.